My name is Private Eugenio, and this is Private Momosik, California yeah. National Guard. Yeah. And uh, we're cousins. So. Yeah. And um, the main reason why I joined the National Guard is to to better my life because I've, I've seen that my life was going nowhere given the route I was taking, so I decided to use them to further my education. I joined the National Guard because uh, like, I wasn't going anywhere in life. And I used it to further my education and pretty much give me the discipline and drive I needed to, to have to uh, succeed in life, you know. And my MOS is uh, 68 Whiskey, which is a healthcare specialist slash combat medic. And I'm liking it so far. We're in, I'm in AIT right now. And um, I'm a 68 X-Ray, which is a behavioral mental health specialist. And um, it's, it's pretty nice. It's uh, very difficult and a lot. it's uh, very different from basic. What do you think about basic? A basic, man, that was that was pretty that was pretty cool. I liked it. I honestly enjoyed it. They say it's, it's pretty hard, and sometimes it can be, but but it's more mental than uh, physical. You know, the hardest thing for me was uh, missing my family and just being back home. But once you get over that and you accomplish and you finish BCT, you feel so accomplished and like you succeeded in your goal of becoming a soldier. Oh yeah, definitely. I just uh, had the same experience with basic, you know, had the problems of being away from my family for a while, missing them, and um, it is really a mental game where if you mess up, they can, I think the worst thing that happened to me would have to be having my locker turned over and having to put away all my stuff after I neatly cleaned it. I think I would say it's true that, at least for me, that you really do miss basic at times and you want to go back. The worst thing that happened to me at basic was they uh they they took sand sandbags and, and they, they dumped it all over the the bay, the barracks. And so did the toilets. So we had a, a pretty muddy day. But you know, it's things like that you that you uh remember the most from BCT. It makes those uh fond memories you <laughs> well you can say fond, fond memories that you that you'll always keep with you for the rest of your life. Yeah. You made some good friends and all that. Had a fun time in general. It does suck. I won't. I'm not gonna be here, sit here and lie. It does suck at times, though. It, you are gonna. There will be a point where, where you you're gonna hate your life because of all the the BS that you're gonna experience. You know, a lot of waiting and uh, just getting yelled at. But after a while, you start to embrace it and like it. It's like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. It's uh. It, you do have to get used to it. Where. I think I like I like basic the first couple of weeks because of the how hard they were training us and I've always wanted to be pushed to my limit and um, and I started to you know midway I always started to oh I wanted to quit but I thought about how I just want to be on point and just to follow my path and keep on keep on going without without having any problems and graduating because I know that after AIT it's gonna be you know after basic it's going to be a lot better experience for me. After basic training, when you get to AIT, you have a lot more freedom. It's a lot better. It's almost like college, pretty much. Like The atmosphere is a lot more relaxed, and you get a lot more freedom. You get to go out, go around base, hang out with the friends you made from basic and AIT. And I'm liking it. I'm loving it so far. Right now, we're, in, uh, we're at Fort Sam Houston, Texas, which is the medical base for the entire military. So we get to meet uh, many sailors and uh, airmen too. Well, going to uh, our experience with Sergeant Brito here, he's a great recruiter. He never lied to us once. Yeah, he's like a lot of recruiters will. But he's he's a good sergeant. He's a good man. He's a really, great NCO. Really, really good re mm -hmm. recruiter. He really uh, got me where I needed to go. Mm -hmm. Even uh, took me to uh, MEPS, offered transportation, and uh, he just really wants you uh, to help you out as much as he can. Mm -hmm. And give you the most that he can give you out of the National Guard. And how you describe basic and everything about the military so far has been right. There hasn't been one thing that he's uh, been wrong about so far. Like, and I appreciate that he uh, that he could help, help that he helped us out getting us where we're at now, and he could do it for you too. Yeah, definitely. Just, give him, yeah. just uh, step up. <laughs> yeah, step up to the plate, and you'll be good.